made, homemade, but aren't we all? This is actually one of Elizabeth Bishop's line from her poem, Crusoe in England. A line that's very insightful and extremely appropriate for the project that I want to talk to you about today. Elizabeth Bishop's Centenary Festival was celebrated in 2011 and we wanted to do something special for her in Nova Scotia, which is a place where she spent most of her childhood and a place she considered home. So we commissioned many prominent Canadian composers to write settings of Bishop's poetry, uh, among them Christos Hatzis, Alistair MacLean, John Plant and Emily Doolittle. Now we're actually in the process of recording nine of the pieces, nine of the 11 pieces that were created for the festival. It's extremely exciting. Among my colleagues I have the Blue Engine String Quartet, uh, the winds that mostly uh, are the soloists in Symphony Nova Scotia, harpist and percussion, and of course the composers themselves. Dinok Vijaratne, a Sri Lankan composer who also wrote a setting, a fantastic setting of a bishop piece for dancers and percussion, is going to be conducting most of these recordings. We just finished recording John Plant's setting of Sunday 4 a.m. It's absolutely a mesmerizing piece with an ending that will chill your spine on the words, the world seldom changes but the wet foot dangles until a bird arranges two notes at right angles. to complete this fantastic project and put this wonderful music on CD and send them out all over the world, we really need your help. We need your financial help to pay for the church, wonderful St. David's in Halifax, and the musicians, post-production costs. The music is absolutely wonderful, so we really hope you'll join us in making this possible.